Okay, my friends. So the Anagriffin Canton Bleu, Carte Canton Bleu, I guess, is uh, now available on HSN. So I told you guys I would let you know when it was. And then, I mean, I only got this a, what, a couple days ago. May we go? Uh, I'll have it linked in the description box, so that would be an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items to those links. And today we're gonna try it Sorry, out. Again, so I already unboxed everything in the previous video. I'll link in the description box if you want to see all that again. But basically, we're just gonna play with it today, so you'll catch a glimpse of different things here and there. Um, it is a slimline auto ship, so the items in here are geared towards slimline. I'm trying to see what's going on here. So these are the card bases. Then we have some slimline matte gold. I had mentioned before it might be a little bit difficult to um, work with some of these dies as like some they're, they're just outlines you know they don't have like other little bits that you know you can kind of like oh I'll put the lid a different color or paper uh, this one has some texture but that's about it and we'll just put something together so let's see okay I don't need the envelopes <laughs> um, we do need a card base and I mean I'll just Mm -hmm. Let's see. So these have the foiling and some different look to them. Maybe we'll do this one so it looks more like wallpaper, I guess. Um, the whole thing with this is like, it kind of looks like a table. It kind of looks like a window. <laughs> like a, something that you would have, you know, your little china in or something. I don't know. Uh, so let's just get that. I don't know which of these papers I would like yet. So let's put that to the side. We might use this. I guess we're going to use that. Let's put some of these things aside for right now, just so I can kind of check out these base pieces. Again, I brought out just my card base here, and I'll show you again real quickly kind of what's going on here. So, obviously, well, choose some of the papers. I was going to say, obviously, some of them are stashed, but no, it's basically the back of these papers. And then they did a little, a little um, sanding because it's a white core paper, right? So that's what they did there. Maybe some of the blue. You know, that means you're going to cut your pretty papers and only show the blue side if you're going to do that. I might pull some papers from, like, my stash if I need to. I don't want to waste this pretty paper just to get blue paper in, which I have, of course. Um, really cute the way they did all these kinds of things. This is what I was mentioning. I think on some of these, when they, if it wasn't already a die cut piece that, that we have here, is that they were using the dies. Let's open this up. And kind of setting it up in a way that makes it look like a, a pot or whatever with a cute little lid. I don't know. I think there's some that had... I was gonna say, I think there's some designs that lend more towards that, but I don't know. Are there? Let's see which one they use there. Yeah, that one might be a die cut piece. What I'm trying to say is like, let's say you have this and you're like, well, I'll bring it over here and cut something. Yeah, none of these really lend themselves towards making it look like a pot. But let's say you cut it here so that this is actually here. But this little lid part, I mean, it's all going to be the same. Unless you do some fussy cutting, right? So, yeah, that's funny. I thought when I first looked at these, there were some that looked like you might be able to line it up to make it look more like a pot. But, nope. Not really. Um, okay. So we have that. We're going to definitely cut some of this gold paper trying to see some of the examples on here so yeah we'll layer it up with some different die cuts of course and then we're going to cut the top and the bottom so it has like this look to it um hmm trying to see what else is going on here it looks like they did some uh embossing here right just for some texture again i'm just using use this card base so i don't want to cover it up too much so we'll put our little table and all that let's see some of the other inspo that we have here uh, yeah, mine's going to be more something like this, you know, I wanted, I was just going to say, I might not even use the background piece on the table, because I want more of this to show, you know, so if you use the background piece, I mean, it kind of cuts into it, but we'll see. It looks like here they just use the, um, the softer die cut, but, you know, it doesn't take away too much if you did the outer portion. Hmm, and then here they have, like, the striped paper, they did on the top, they did the bottom with the gold in the background, so just lots of ways to play with this. Um, again, a lot of these are die cuts that are already in the pack. This one here they cut from themselves just with paper, right? They just cut that. I'm trying to see if any of these really go with like this. Again, those are from the die cuts. Just an odd pairing of dies for the pots or the jars. Um, okay. Let me grab some blue paper from my own stash because, again, I, don't, I do want to use a lot of the blue. But I don't want to use it from just the background of this. So I will be right back. Okay. So 
I found this pack of paper. I recently, well, I don't know how recently, but I think I might have shown you guys. Um, that I had picked up a ton of papers one of the times I'd been to Hobby Lobby, and it's been a while, but uh, I want to use, I think, the darkest blue one, right? Oh, that light blue works too, but let's look. I was looking for something like really navy, you know? And this is their heavyweight paper. Now, again, heavyweight is not the same as the extra heavyweight paper there, so to me, heavyweight is even still. Like, not super great, but uh, I like their extra heavyweight paper. But when they have these color packs, that's pretty much what they sell it in. Um, and then just regular weight, which is like 65 pound, I guess. I think it's like 80. Does it even say? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to see. Just as heavyweight. Yeah, 80 pound. There you go. 216 GSM. <laughs> there you are. All right. So I want this for like this background. I do like the look of that kind of ecru, and I was like trying to see if I had something in my stash that was white core, you know, with the tan color, but I really don't. So kind of a bummer. So what I'm going to do is, and I hate to do it, I'm going to use this guy. Actually, this isn't my favorite paper anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> no worries. I'm going to cut this paper um, with these things. So let's see the finer little table like that insert I'm going to use on this guy and I guess we'll match up the top part too why not so she used the lighter one I don't know if you can see it's like um, a more pale wood color I'm just going to use this stripey one so we'll cut both these guys out we are definitely going to get the embossing going so these areas here need embossing so I will run these through whatever your machine is you know if you're running it through like the um, Dying press machines, these definitely will fit in there. You can run it through an extra piece of paper underneath to give you more of the embossing or a foam, right? Like I use fun foam normally, like the kids' fun foam. I always like to really tape this kind of thing down because when I do run it through with embossing, if I'm using a different machine, you might have to pick it up. If you're doing the Anna Griffin one, I never, even when I use my Anna Griffin machines, would cut into my magnetic mat, but she does it all the time. Um, you know, I don't have unlimited magnetic mats like she does, so I don't like doing that because it feels like it, or at least from my experience, it tears them up and I don't like it. Um, I do like the blue in the background though, so we're going to do that. And I don't know if I want it for both things. That's kind of weird, right? But uh, I will do it for this one. So I was wondering if we should bring that light blue in. You know, not everything is the right shade. Just because you have five shades here doesn't mean it's like the Anna Griffin shade of blue, you know, and it might just look like, ee, not great. We can do that. Let's do this for the table, the dark blue. Let's do this light blue for the outside frame. And I may or may not use it, but we'll see what it looks like. So for right now, I'm going to run those through, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we had our pretty papers. So let's put this away. Oh, that's funny. I was like, yeah, for sure we'll use the gold. <laughs> but I didn't. At least not yet. Um, I probably won't if I already did this. Interesting. Hmm, how did that get away from me? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to use this guy, and this guy possibly. Wow, I mean, you're going to cover everything up anyway. <laughs> you know how that happens. I mean, oh my goodness. I wish, a lot of times like these shadow or background dyes, I really like them to be kind of the same size instead of having like an extra outer portion, but that's okay. I was going to say this might be a little worse for the wear, but we're going to cover it up anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. See how the um, embossing kind of cut through that? Not great. Right here. They ripped the paper. Um, but we're probably going to end up covering most of this stuff up. Ooh. Okay. Now we have that and this. Let's see how this little table fared. Oh. <laughs> he's really stuck on there it looks like we had a better time with this and then with our little window there cute so I was going to rub away some of this I don't know guys I feel like I should just leave it but at the same time I do like the look of that so alright fine hope you can kind of see some of the embossing there so what I'm going to do now is just take a sanding block and get a little of that to be more exposed. I don't know if you can see that where it's kind of more white. Okay, same thing for the window. I'm going to be very careful with that though since it's already very fragile. <laughs> and I'll be back. To be honest, it's kind of a delicate thing. Look at this. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, 
just go ahead and glue this guy down a little a little too delicate okay and you know if you're the type that likes a little dimension between these guys go for it I'm just going to stick them down especially because they were kind of beat up so I'm definitely going to just glue these down same thing for the window I'll leave that light blue behind there and I will be right back so again just laying those guys up I will say the um, outside border on this is a little bit closer than some dies, so that's nice. Okay, I'll be back. So I was just careful to really stick those down. And I guess I'll go this way because we can cover up some of that. Um, okay, so it is very pretty. Again, those blue papers are from my own stash. Uh, and now we just play. So I probably will pop this up away just so it kind of comes up so to be honest I'm just going to go ahead and stick this guy down I'm not sure why I said to be honest <laughs> I think there's some things that we just say because we're just saying that like oh what's funny is I say that a lot too and it's just some random thought you know okay so let's go ahead and stick that down I'm not going to put anything behind it so that's fine and then this guy will probably pop it up like I said and we have all these things to play with Okay, so, <laughs> let's get rid of that. Um, let's see what we have going here. Lots of things, again, lots of pots, yeah, so that's what I thought. These pots that look stylized, it's because they're the sticker, you know, um, in the examples. So, I mean, we have lots of different things we can layer up. Again, I don't do a lot of layering, that's not really my whole style, but that's pretty. I don't know if I would just have a flower there. A little sneezer. Um, let's see. I'm not sure why some are over here and some are over here. <laughs> it's a little random. Because these are all double layer kind of flowers. But they're just separated out for whatever reason. So she has some kind of like over here. And maybe a little something in there. That's cute. Oh, you know what? Maybe this table... No, I want the table popped up. Hmm. That's a lot of layering. I was just thinking if I want the tail popped up and I want to pop up something else. You know, if we put these guys in here. Um, and this is up. We're going to do quite a bit of layers to make that look right. Let's see about our sentiment. On your special day. Happy birthday for my friend. I mean, there's lots of best wishes. Happy birthday to you. Just for you. Thinking of you. Did I do that straight? The window looks crooked, and to be honest, I put it straight. <laughs> like I can see here, it's straight up there, it's straight. It just looks crooked. Thinking of you might be nice. And let's see about our little swirls. I know I haven't used the pots because I'm honestly, I probably I just won't. Okay, that looks nice. Um, okay, I mean the plate's cool. I just I, I don't I don't know I don't know I don't understand the vibe. I guess, um, but that's cute. Maybe I should do it more like this, where the plate's kind of in the back, <laughs> and then these guys, and you can't see that the plate's not actually touching the table. <laughs> kind of weird. Um, hmm. Nah. Okay, let's put some dimensionals on this so that way we at least have this down too. And this for sure, I like the way that looks. So, uh, is this a sticker? Ah, let's see if this is a sticker. I know you guys tell me if it's white on the back, like I can never tell the difference between white and, you know, like a beige color. Yeah, we have a sticker here. Okay. So let's completely stick this guy down. Let's give it a little bit of a, yeah, it's kind of like there. Okay, maybe a little bit more up. Just thinking of you, a sticker. Should be, I would assume, yep. Just kind of trying to, <laughs> you can see it's really kind of squished. Okay. 
Maybe that needs to go up, up, and then something else. Mm, no. Mm, maybe. No. <laughs> I like the style of that one, but the, with too much like of the dark blue, I'm trying to bring some more different blue in here. Nope, the same. Okay. Uh, let's just, okay. Let's just regroup here. Let's think. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to put some dimensionals. So let me put some dimensionals on this, and then I'll be right back. I just grab this pack that I have from Tonic and just cut into it because it's really big, big dimensional pads. But, of course, the Anna Griffin set is really nice. I just didn't grab that. I grabbed this. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. And let's put this all the way down here. So maybe we'll see some of that gold. I'm eyeballing the bottom here to just make sure it's straight again. So, again, that's really cute. Um, hmm. Something about the way this is... Maybe that is better. Okay. So let's do that. Let's take this guy and take the back off of it. And let's see about the chunkiness of this card. My goodness. <laughs> I suppose this is easier, but it's like totally gouging everything. Ooh, does this have a design that needs to go a certain way? I'm trying to see. It's all flowers. So let's just put it like this. And then this little guy and this taller guy. That's good. If I'm touching from here to here, then I guess we're good. Uh, but if you want to put dimensionals in the spaces, like the recesses, you can definitely do that to make sure it stays really nicely. I'll put this guy here, and then this guy's kind of up on top. He's touching on the bottom a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this whole thing off. But sometimes I'll just put glue. I don't even take the back off the sticker. Come on, buddy. And up here. Oh, no, not so close. Something like that. You have a little space here if you wanted to put in another little flower in there. That flower is really big compared to like <laughs> these pots. <laughs> At least these jars are like, I don't know, tiny. Maybe they're miniatures, huh? Ooh, look at that. It's not quite centered. Oh, well. All right. We're done with that. And then this guy here. I don't know that I really like this one rose by itself. What do you have over here? I might just put in another hydrangea in there. Yeah, maybe that's cute. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, yeah, if I put it there, that's what I'll do. I'll put it as high up under there as I can. All right, guys. So, again, it's just making choices with things like this, <laughs> these kind of kits. Lots of choices. All right. What I was going to do is try to kind of tuck this a little bit under so that it can get in there. You know what I'm saying? If this is here, it's not just like super awkward. Oh, lovely. I like that. Okay, let's put that there. And then this guy can just be kind of in here too. And we'll try to arrange him nicely. And we're almost done. What I was going to do is try to get the leaves in here and just in a way that's a little less awkward. It needs to go higher up. Higher up, higher up, if we want it in the pot. <laughs> Something like that, but a little bit more like this. Yay! That's cute. Okay. And then this guy will just stick down flat. So I'm kind of playing with the recesses. And what I'm talking about recesses is like, you know how it's double layered? So like in here, I'm kind of tucking things in that space. To not make this thing completely like two inches tall, you know? Uh, let's see here. And right about there. Like that. I really do. Do I have a smaller, smaller flower? <laughs> or maybe a huge hydrangea head that would be okay? I don't know. Well, we have one kind of tucked in facing that way, don't we? That's not great. Um, I might just leave it. Yeah, no, I don't want that either. And let's see if there's anything over here that'll work for us. And if not, then we are done. 
Ooh, that's cute. Bring us in that pink. Okay. Owies. Be careful, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, I'm almost done. The thing decides to destroy me here. All right. So the flowers again, do they go this way? Do they go like this? I don't know. It's hard for me to always tell what direction things are in. But I really like the way that looks. And it's just hanging off the edge there. Okay. Pretty. Very different. I mean, it totally has a different feel, right? Very interesting. I try to leave things so you can still see like what's going on. Um, I think we did a good job of that today. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so now the set is there on HSN. Um, especially if you like blue. This is very pretty. There are a ton of items in here, I'll tell you that much. I mean, there's a ton of different things. And just, you know, play around with your little dies and see what works out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I have some images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box down there under the title. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.